I'm taking things to a whole new level today. Come on, you're so badass. It's blowing off of you. Gonna be rocking out with the multi-talented Aisha Tyler. As an actor, you know you go in a million times to these auditions and you're not fitting whatever this right. stereotype, this this structure is that they've created and for you. And it ain't you. personal. You know, we're just gonna hang. <laughs> they didn't understand that comedy was a job. Mm -hmm. It seemed like magic. Climb rocks and stuff. I'm probably climbing too close to you. Yeah, back up, bitch. It's gonna end badly for both of us. Today on Across the Board, I'm hanging with triple threat Aisha Tyler. Actor, comedian, host, she can do it all. Let's see what happens when she takes me rock climbing. Have you ever been in one? No, I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna be I'm... ugly and fun. It's gonna be fugly. Uh, I have no <laughs> idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so uh, what made Looks you decide uh, <laughs> on rock climbing for our first day? You know, <laughs> I know, right? Um, I did, you know, I started rock climbing in high school uh -huh. and um, I was never very good at it. I'm definitely yeah, not good right. at it now. I no, but I, I always felt like it was something that was like super physical but fun uh -huh. and um, and like really, I don't know, not, not team building because it sounds a little like whippy dippy, but just like a thing you could do with friends. It's You can be chatty, like when one person's climbing, the other person's belaying, and you can kind of spend a whole day at a rock wall in nature and like hang out, have lunch, and then the climbing is like, this kind of interesting problem solving. So it's a mind body thing. I should just like cross my legs and start meditating now, I think. But no, totally. it's gonna, it's super fun. Um, and yeah, so some of the holds are bigger and easier, but where should I this start? Is, this is kind of a complex wall. I didn't I didn't realize that practice holes were inverted. And, but, and it's going this way. I know, it's going, it's entirely angled the wrong way. Like one of the big principles of climbing we were talking about was that you have to use your legs, uh -huh. right? Do so you want to be out almost like a tripod, like, you know, you're like a little triangle and you use your legs to push you up. And uh -huh. then if you were stable and not about to fall backwards, you would then like, you know, reach for another. <laughs> Like that. Oh, like that. Don't you see why I, I can do that. I can that, totally do that. That is a really advanced fall. I don't oh, know no, if I you saw that. how, how advanced that, that I got was. That. That's ready, for ready, advanced ready. climbers that fall. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Awesome. I, don't awesome. I can't go any so then you that. So then you'd have three. Yeah, that's. Oh my I feel like I feel like that we could call it a day. I mean, but I'm, <laughs> there's like there's a few things that you and I have in common. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm so glad that we're I'm finally get to hang out. I'm listening. Being a black woman especially in this business, mm -hmm. um, you charge your own course. And also be back against the stereotypes of what we're supposed to be right, like, what we're right, supposed to like, right, the music that we're supposed right. to like, our humor. They're, yeah, everywhere. they're everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. I everywhere. feel like it's, you know, it's that there's a part of uh, like white Hollywood that wants you to be a certain way, yeah. there's a part of black Hollywood that wants you to be a certain yeah. way. But I was such an, uh, like a social, like isolated, like really socially isolated kid mm -hmm. that and nobody wanted me. <laughs> you know what I mean? The black kids in my neighborhood didn't want me because they thought I talked yeah. white and the white kids in my neighborhood didn't like me because I was only black I can kid. totally relate. That like you stop caring. Like, when, did about, you, when did you stop caring? Oh, very early because I wasn't getting anywhere with anybody. I was What's making early? no headway. Like, when I mean, I used to go to, yeah, when I, maybe, I mean, I used to go to the library when I was like in the second and third grade by myself. Mm -hmm. And I would like read all day or I'd go to the movies. I was very nerdy. I'd go to the movies and I'd watch like four mm -hmm. movies in a row. Like mm -hmm. I'd sneak around the theater and see all the movies and I'd play video games in between showings. And yeah, you know, I mean, I just think once you realize that you're not gonna, you, you don't, either you're not gonna fit or you can't figure out how to make yourself fit, you just right. say, well, I'm just gonna do the stuff I wanna do. You were just recently on like, what, the top 10 um, influential nerds. Oh, we right? always on the that nerd list. Seven. Yes, yes. Right? What's it like being an adult nerd versus? Well, it's obviously a lot cooler nowadays, yeah. isn't it? Although you can, you, know, own, you every... can really own and claim it. Yeah, I just, I'm, you know, I'm feeling like we're gonna be like the, you know, the crow nut in a few years. Everyone will be over, <laughs> over nerdery, right? Like nerds <laughs> had their day, right? right? 2013 was the nerd year of the nerds. Right. Um, I mean, to me, I think it's more about celebrating individualism. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's the idea of people really being into nerds. You know, all the kids that were super popular when I was a kid, mm -hmm. and this is a little bit of a generalization, but they all peaked really early. If you're mm -hmm. super popular in high school, right. you never have to try. You never had to well, try. Well, where else do you go from there? You can't go. All yeah. those people get knocked up at 19, you know what I mean? Yeah. Three kids by 25. Not that that's a bad thing, yeah. but it can be a dream killer sometimes, right. you know? And it was all the weird kids that had to strike out on their own that did strike out on their own. Mm -hmm. And I think there's something about nerdery that also drives kind of, you know, that, that like 
obsessive thinking can also drive innovation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What, and whatever you're doing, you know, as an artist, mm -hmm. that you realize when you weren't going to fit that mold, that right. you either had to create a mold for yourself or right. you weren't going to work. You right. know what I mean? Right. It's and like claiming that spot, that, that place outside of the box because people want to, you know, it's easy to either put yourself, try to put, fit inside right. that box, or people think that they want to put you in yeah. this box, but you have to own and claim the space outside. Yeah, and also not be made to feel badly right. that you don't fit. And it's like, you know, you, I mean, as an actor, you know, you go in a million times to these auditions and you're not fitting whatever this right. stereotype, this this structure is that they've created and for you. And it ain't you. personal. No, it's not personal. And the minute you realize that and you just go, you know what, if I just keep doing what I'm doing, mm -hmm. I will find a place. Like, or, or, you know what, that mm -hmm. place will find me. Right. It frees you from all of that, like, I wish I was more like this. Yeah, I wish know. I was a little bit taller. Oh, I wish I was, yes. Right? If I had a girl, I would call her. <laughs> I would call her. <laughs> was that something that your parents instilled in you or helped support, supported you in your individualism and yeah. you sort of thinking outside the box? Yeah, no, I mean, I feel, yeah, like my parents were definitely like, my father was definitely not a like, try to get in to fit in guy. He was okay. just like, do your thing, don't worry about other people. My dad definitely has a, like, if they don't like it, they can lump it kind of mm -hmm. attitude about the world generally. Mm -hmm. But he also really wanted to raise like a tough girl. So, you know, I didn't get to complain. I really didn't, didn't get to complain. Like, he didn't tolerate complaining. Oh, I can't say that. If you have a problem, go figure it out. Right. You know? And I think, you know, when you're a kid, like, that feels mean to you. But when you're an adult, you just but realize it it's making self -reliance. you so tough. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So tough. And you know, in this business, just mental toughness is so important. It's so important. Yeah, it's you actually, um, yeah, yeah, equally as important as talent and yeah, sometimes more timing because and all those don't things. Don't you think a big part of success is not quitting? It seemed like magic. You know, it didn't yeah. seem like a thing that people did. Like Bill Cosby and Richard Pryor and, and Eddie Murphy, they were like special magic people. Stand, stand up, like, just, yeah, there you go.